Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for May 22nd, read by Scott B. from Detroit, Michigan. AA Thoughts for the Day. Daily Reprieve. It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. We are not cured of alcoholism. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. Thought to Consider The road to recovery is always under construction. Acronyms Alcoholics A life centered on helping others lives in complete sobriety. Just for today. Inspiration. From The Spirit Touch. At some time, perhaps in a more moderate way, nearly everyone has experienced the spirit touch of God, the fleeting feeling of insight, love, joy, and the world is right. Once I thought that only unusual circumstances made these moments possible. Actually, I now think they are forecasts of what one can have if one is willing to take the time and make the effort. Peace, love, and joy can be sought through quiet thinking and honest prayer. The wholeness, the new awareness that is produced affects one's relationship with God and man to a degree greater than would seem possible in ordinary life. Came to Believe, page 65. Daily Reflections, Step 1. We, the first word of the first step. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 21. When I was drinking, all I could ever think about was I, 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 or me, me, me. Such painful obsession of self, such soul sickness, such spiritual selfishness, bound me to the bottle for more than half my life. The journey to find God and to do His will one day at a time began with the first word of the first step, we. There was power in numbers. There was strength in numbers. There was safety in numbers. And for an alcoholic like me, there was life in numbers. If I had tried to recover alone, I probably would have died. With God and with another alcoholic, I have a divine purpose in my life. I have become a channel for God's healing love. As Bill sees it, God-given instincts. Creation gave us instincts for a purpose. Without them, we wouldn't be complete human beings. If men and women didn't exert themselves to be secure in their persons, made no effort to harvest food or construct shelter, there would be no survival. If they didn't reproduce, the earth wouldn't be populated. If there were no social instinct, there would be no society. Yet these instincts, so necessary for our existence, often far exceed their proper functions. Powerfully, blindly, many times subtly, they drive us, dominate us, and assist upon ruling our lives. We tried to shape a sane idea for our future sex life. We subjected each relation to this test. Was it selfish or not? We asked God to mold our ideas and help us to live up to them. We remembered always that our sex powers were God-given and therefore good, neither to be used lightly or selfishly, nor to be despised and loathed. 12 and 12, page 42, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 69. Big Book Quote It did not satisfy us to be told that we could not control our drinking just because we were maladjusted to life, that we were in full flight from reality, or we were outright mental defectives. These things were true to some extent, in fact, to a considerable extent, with some of us. But we are sure that our bodies were sickened as well, and our beliefs, any picture of the alcoholic which leaves out the physical factor, is incomplete. Alcoholics Anonymous, The Doctor's Opinion, page XXVI. 24 Hours a Day, AA Thought for the Day What impresses us most at an AA meeting is the willingness to share, without holding anything back, and pretty soon we find ourselves sharing also. We start telling our own experiences, and by so doing, we help the other person. And when we've got these things off our chest, we feel a lot better. It does us a lot of good to share with some other poor and fortunate person who's in the same box that we are in. And the more we share, 
the more we have left for ourselves. Do I know that the more I share, the better chance I have to stay sober? Meditation for the Day Constantly claim God's strength. Once convinced of the right course of action, once reasonably sure of God's guidance, claim that strength now. You can claim all the strength you need to meet any situation. You can claim a new supply when your own supply is exhausted. You have a right to claim it and you should use your right. A beggar supplicates, a child appropriates. When you supplicate, you are often kept waiting. But when you appropriate God's strength in a good cause, you have it at once. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may claim God's strength whenever I need it. I pray that I may try to live as a child of God. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Scott, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.